there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. If 0 0.5 kilograms of silk is worth 240 yuan, how much silk can we buy for 1,328 yuan? This question appears in a Chinese mathematics book composed between the 10th and 2nd centuries BC. It worked on the decimal system we still use today, so they could easily deal with these complicated calculations. The decimal numeral system uses 10 decimal digits from 0 to 9 and a place value system to denote values of 10 or above. Every natural number could be constructed in tens. Each place to the left represents a 10 times multiple of the numeral to its right. So, 8 times 10 to the power of 0, plus 1, which is multiplied by 10 to the first power, plus 0, which is multiplied by 10 to the second power, and plus 2, which is multiplied by 10 to the third power, gives the figure 2018. In pre-imperial China, such seemingly abstract figures could be expressed with some simple counting rods, and from them calculations of value made. Typically, counting rods were made from bamboo, but other materials were also used, like bone, ivory, or metal. This set of ivory counting rods was unearthed in the number one Han tomb of the Yosheng Palace in Shanxi's Xinyang County. It has 28 rods, each of which is 0.4 centimeters in diameter, 13.5 centimeters in length. They're all equal in size and length. Rod numerals are expressed by placing the rods either in the perpendicular or horizontal planes. In the perpendicular, when representing numbers from 1 to 5, each rod represents one digit. For numbers from 6 to 9, one rod placed horizontally represents 5, and the perpendicular rods placed below represent 1. Alternatively, the numerals can be expressed by horizontal placement taking priority. Only five rods are ever used. When denoting multi-digit numbers, each digit is displayed from left to right in descending value. Zero is expressed by a gap. Calculation with counting rods follows the same principles as the decimal system. Add one into the higher digit when the sum of the lower digit is over 10, and one borrowed from the higher digit is regarded as 10. When 1,643 and 375 are added together, the four and seven on the 10 position digit make 11. After we add one onto the 100 position, it rolls up to 10. So the 1,000th position also needs a one to be added. So we get 2,018. When the rods can be handled fluently, they can be used to calculate the answer to many practical problems in building, agriculture, logistics, and warfare. In the 16th century, the era of the counting rods came to an end to be completely replaced by the abacus. Though the rods were replaced by beads, the decimal system rules remained unchanged. The new technologies and improved tools have simplified calculation to the touch of a button. But an understanding of the basis of the system remains essential. In inscriptions on bones or tortoise shells, more than 3,000 years ago, Merchants could use the 13 characters for the numbers from 1 to 10, the 100, the 1,000, and the 10,000, to notate any natural number up to 100,000. Although recording methods have changed, the decimal system has triumphed throughout. It's everywhere in our lives. Decimal measurements can be used to express all the patterns and principles of science and society. From everyday activities like shopping to high finance, and artificial intelligence. It's all just numbers. Numbers that we usually take as for granted as a simple bundle of sticks. <laughs>